We tracked down Juarez and I expected violence, but he told us that he had no idea that the Colonel wanted us dead. He claimed that Barnsby lied to him as well. I'm not sure my brothers believed him, but then they never really trusted him in the first place. Besides, Juarez had the girl and was leading us to the medallion. We continued on our way. There was a tense silence. And on our way, there was a tense silence. The whole situation made my skin. Seeing father was the only, seeing father was the only one I could talk to. And then one night he just up and disappeared. We had no choice but to continue on without him. Deeper into a wilderness few white men had ever seen. Take my hand. I'm still waiting, brother. For what? You didn't tell me how you knew about the rifles. You talk too much. Yeah, well, you talk too little. Look, the weeping rock. That's gotta be it. But we gonna have to go around those hills. Well, let's go. But we'll get back to our conversation later, brother. We found it. We gotta go around the pass and find a place to cross the river. I guess we don't need your half-breed anymore. Stay close to the wagons! They say you can't see a redskin until he cuts your throat. No, no, no. They don't cut throats. They scalp. They cut. They scalp. They fill you full of arrows. They crack skulls open with hatchets. What are you trying to do? They scare me? Not trying, Pancho. Succeeding. Indians! There in the bushes! Where? I can't see any! Stop the wagons! What did you see? In the woods! I saw one! Amigos, can you go see what Pancho was so afraid of? Right! What you waiting for? Move! Indians, right. Your men can't tell the difference between a man and a bird. I'm telling you they're here. I can smell him. And I can smell someone pissing their pants. <laughs> Amigo, calm down. It's better to be careful. Vamonos, let's go! Getting on my nerves. Well, calma, day. We'll have a talk with him. Thank you. Did you see? There! Kill him, Pacho! Kill this other! Chicana! You still say there are no Indians here, amigo? Well, I didn't say there weren't. I said that someone pissed his pants, and I was right. But to bring back his whole tribe. Mount up! Move! We better find tribe. Mount up! Move! We better find a way over the river. Ray! Come back! 
here! Let's go! Doesn't look too safe. Not so quick. What the hell was that? Puta madre, what now? Hijo de mierda, it's stuck. We must push. Pancho, move your ass. Oh yeah, amigos. Maybe one of you can get up and help. Right. the second wagon I don't know it raced across the river maybe your brother panicked and maybe they were carried away by the horses we got to follow them you go on alone while we push the wagon out move hurry up We better split up! Say, William, I'll follow the girl. We'll meet at the wagon. But don't you let me down, Thomas! Go left! Go, go, go! William? William! <laughs> oh, thank God. At 
ran away. I left her. Uh, Thomas will find her. We'll meet up at the wagon. Just follow me and do what I say. Quick! Follow me. Keep close. Redskins took the wagon. Come on. And Thomas? We're, we were supposed to wait here. There's no time. We'll find them. William, hide! Let's go. Okay, we can go. Quiet. Are you? Maybe. You don't need to be. Right now, Juarez needs me and Ray. Whatever happens, you know I'll protect you. I think she already has a good protector. Now, I warned you, brother. Don't you let me down. Ray? What you doing here? You left the wagon? No, the Comanches took it. So we can go back to Mendoza? Yeah, but what for? For the rifles. The Apaches will trade us the medallion for them, remember? Ah, those rifles. You mean the ones we don't have. All right, let's go. Oh my god! Ow. Watch it, brother!
Let's go. It's us, damn it! I thought they had killed you, like my men. You two are tough. It's the second time you rescue my Marisa, and I go and take you for Comanche. Marisa! Where is my wagon? The Comanches took it. Maybe they'll leave us alone now. Listen, friend. I'm grateful that you saved my woman. But now we need to save the wagon. There's 100 rifles on it. Oh, shit. Well, they couldn't have gotten far. Mount up, amigos. At least they won't bother covering their tracks. Look up there. There's more coming. All the left.
how worried they are then. All right, let's take that wagon. Go right. They stop. What the hell? Why aren't they chasing us? Look around, amigo. Weeping rock. See, si, amigo. This is Apache territory. Those Comanche don't need another enemy. You know, amigo, I think your god is watching over us. We made it through Comanche territory, and yet we still have our scalps. Of course he's watching over us. He loves us. All of us. Even you. There are no evil men. Only evil deeds. Evil depends on your point of view. The savages here see us as white devils. Yet, because we bring them rifles, they welcome us with open arms. Friends, you're another enemy. One of three hundred! None of them work! No! This isn't necessary! Pocky hole! Kill them all! 
No, father! This is the young shaman who warned me of their treachery! That little bastard. Father, please. The young shaman is my friend. He betrayed his own kind to protect our people. And for this, what should his reward be? Their lives. Please, spare their lives. The young shaman's heart is so big it covers his eyes. But as he's seeing father's friend, I will do as he wishes. The great Apache war chief, Running River, spares your lives. Leave our land. We will take your horses, your weapons, and your wagons as ransom. And the woman. What? Running River wants your woman. Juan. As you're the only one Juan. who knew of the rifles. No. You're the only one who could have betrayed me. Take her. Beat her. What? Enjoy her. For she is a lying whore, and that is all she is good for. The young shaman and his kin can stay in our camp and rest their horses, but they should not expect a warm welcome.